We're living in a strange time where we say welcome to asylum seekers and to economic migrants. We said, do not come. In the recent blockbuster, we learned everything is everything, but not for everybody everywhere. So when they say reduce, reuse, and recycle, it means different things to different people. I told Olga I'm sensitive. She said, get over yourself. Always, always good advice. Yeah. I was just thinking, this is a forest world. We have to deal with all the time. Yeah. Well, I was talking this morning about the difference, if any, between asylum seekers and economic migrants who want something better in life. They see things on Facebook and TikTok and Twitter and all the other, and they want that for their families. And so go towards it. And the rules don't always apply equally. I was gonna add to that, the karmic rules are perfect and always apply there. Yeah, I haven't known how to uh, bring that up. I was gonna look for a picture of a giant water wheel and say the wheel of karma because you can physically see that it picks something up it takes time for it to circle around but it gets dumped somewhere else action reaction consequences <laughs> I don't know. I know we laugh a lot. And Olga still shops a lot. As budget travelers, we're forced to look at what we spend. People work hard to make some money and to try to save and buy what they want or to go on a trip to some exotic place. Maybe saving for years just to go on a cruise. Nowadays, the model isn't just a vacation. It's not peace and freedom. It's to go and get luxurious accommodation and indulgence. That's the fantasy and it comes with costs. Karma D, really? <laughs> We've been visiting friends and family in Holland, but it won't be long till we'll be heading back to the States. We're headed back to the USA soon for a couple months visiting family and taking care of business. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If you were, um, living in a poor country, uh, living with, let's say, economic security, maybe even physical risk. What the heck are you getting at? Or this. Your mind would look at it and say, I want that. Poor country with physical risk or this? Yeah, if I, I used to use the example of we're not living in Beirut. Right. When we open our door, nobody's shooting at us, right? I don't say that much anymore. I have a friend living in Beirut, she's just fine. But yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. But if someone's living in a place where they can't even get drinking water, or they're, or they're hiking 10 kilometers a day for firewood, no, I and you show them this. Yeah. Uh, people generally wanted a little uh, luxurious, a little Safe, of course, safe to raise children. Good education, decent living standard, absolutely. Opportunity. Yeah, opportunity, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Now, I remember reading from the saint in India that he said it must be a question of distribution because there's yes. plenty of everything. Yes, but I get back to karma Whoa. because that's the only way that I can live in this world. Otherwise, I'd be really upset every day of my life. So I'm not. I'm pretty happy. But 
karma explains it, and that's how I can have peace, peace of mind. It's not a fatalist karma. You oh. still can make your efforts and you get your results. Yeah. yeah. But the, the idea of uh, good, better, and best, uh, I think that takes a long time to develop. Yeah. Wherever the, the pinch is, that's where the pinch is. Find your next pinch because you gotta find a pinch that will hold you up for a while. You know, you know. I thought I thought shopping was Olga's pinch, but <laughs> I really, I just now observe that she's looking at textures and style and colors and. I've been doing that for a while, honey. Yeah. yeah. Getting an idea for her next outlandish thing. <laughs> Ryan called me a wild dog on a leash. <laughs> And that the leash was a good thing, so that's nice, although that's a compliment. Well, my shoulder is pulled out of its socket, so I'm not holding the leash anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're looking for the Lidl store. Yeah, that way. And uh, the elusive Lidl store. Yeah, 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 we'll find it. We're within a two or three hundred meters, so we will find it. But we always walk the other direction when we come to this town. And uh, yeah. Olga said, why? I said, it's away from the cold. Well, you see the water, the beach, the Dutch? The North, the North Sea. It's that way. Yeah. And you don't want to go that way. Well, it's so you don't like cold and I don't like cold water. Yeah. So that's true. But I had a conversation with Richard about not anymore needing a, a, a temperature snob. Because I now swim in cold water and I made a point of that. And Africans are coming to Northern Europe. They are. I rest my case.